Okay, welcome back to Beautiful Mind today. Thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. If you're new here, I'm Roland Attenborough. I'm the leading GAN researcher of scientific and analytical reporting. Today, this uh, update is uh, going to end our grand prize draw, draw that we had. And we're just going to go take a look at uh, who these winners were and thank them for participating in our contest. If you did participate in our contest and were not able to win, don't be despaired as um, we are going to uh, be having more, more of these giveaways and uh, we'll be looking for more winners. So uh, before I could end the contest, I was going to have three winners. However, uh, we had a last fella, Kevin Large. He, uh, he submitted an answer before I could uh, make this recording and end the uh, giveaway. So we actually have a fourth prize winner. So square of nine winners are Manello Blanco. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Please forgive me if I haven't. Uh, Yugan Har. Kata from the USA. He's our second prize winner. Right on. We also have Gert Deer. He's our third uh, grand prize winner. Thank you, Gert. And Kevin Large. He was our last. Uh, he's our last winner, and he's from uh, Canada. That's where he hails from. That's where I hail from. So, congratulations to uh, all four of you on that terrific job. Really appreciate that. That's uh, really grateful. So to anyone that had any problems with finding the correct answers, let's just go over and look at it together so that you can see what we're talking about. Let's just go take a look at a uh, ephemeris. If none of you are, if some of you are struggling with what an ephemeris is, an ephemeris really is just a sequence of numbers that lay out where the planetary bodies are traveling around. So this never changes. These are the most accurate representation of where a celestial body is. So we were having a look at November 22. I told you to look at around November 22nd. There's two things that were coming back and revisiting. So Mars, as I was stating a long time ago, was going to be making a bottom, which it did, and it returned to 22, this 25, 24, all these degrees right here. The next planet that was making a return, or our first return, was planet Uranus, planet of disruption. It came back to 16, was about to go into 15, it was retrograding. Let's go take a look at the other dates that we're talking about. March 2023, March 10th, Mars comes back and it hits 22 degrees and goes through the 24 and 25 degrees as I showed you last November. Uranus, planet of disruption, is back in Taurus staying there. It was retrograde and going direct and it was 15 degrees returning to the 16th degree. So this is how we use an ephemeris to find the position of luminary bodies and this is how I'm able to find tops and bottoms for the next moves. That's right. So pay attention to that. Congratulations to all you winners out there. Really appreciate the work that you put in to uh, get those answers. So with that, this, uh, this prize giveaway has officially finished and we have four winners. And I look forward to having more giveaways and uh, stay, uh, stay tuned for that. Also today, we're going to uh, take a little look at our square of nine here. And uh, we're going to just do a little 
update to what we were going to be doing in July. I've been really busy with the sale of the Square of Nine. It's been absolutely terrific. It's been so phenomenal. I've been so busy with shipping and returning emails and just trying to get everything packaged and sent out. I've been so busy. Uh, my my tutorials have suffered a little bit. I was supposed to have out uh, another July outlook. Let's just do a really quick outlook right now, today, just so that we can uh, discuss what it is we were talking about. Okay, so we were gently discussing before that uh, for my forecast to work out here, that we would have to start moving back up to 34. And I was stating that by around the 12th to the 14th, I think the 12th I was stating, that we needed to be up to 34,000. We haven't made it there yet, but the energy has started to change. And I've been waiting for this time, this time frame to take place. And we're going to look at a bunch of other things in some further tutorials that I'll be putting out, populating July and uh, are moving forward. So what have we been seeing? Well, I've been waiting, as you know, for this bottom to come in around our anniversary date of July 18th, which was the same as last year. So we were within three degrees or basically a direct hit. From there, we were expecting 25 to be our bottom. And we're expecting that we have to get above 31. And I was stating that we need to get above this 31 level and sit on it. And once we have sit on this, the sequence will continue to move up, as we stated in our forecast, to 34, then to 37, and then, of course, up to 40, where it would subside. And then we would have a pullback. And I was expecting that by somewhere around the 8th, the 2nd to the 8th of August, we can see our next first top. And that probably by the 26th of August, I was observing that it's possible and likely that we return back to 29,000 or this 31 level. But most likely we will be revisiting this level. It just seems that something might be happening here. And then from there, I would expect that the next sequence from August we would move up into uh, September here. And we would most likely be making our tops from August, September. And that in October, we could again be sitting back on an old top here, somewhere around this 37 and 40, before we have a top out and a pullback into our election. This is a really important year for an election. This is probably going to be the most important election ever since Abraham Lincoln, Mr. Trump, and JFK, or RFK, sorry, have, uh, they have an arduous task in front of them, and uh, it's a big turnaround. So this is going to be a really big election. So this is what I'm sort of looking at looking at Mr. Gann's 1943 prognosis and all his third year prognosis for the yearly cycles. It's looking like we're going to have a pull, a pullback. Once we get above these numbers, we're going to have to sit on 31. It may be even into this November and December. However, it's probably going to sit on a higher, a higher high probably around this 34 and 37. Not for sure, but it's possible and likely that we would see these levels by around that area and sit on that. So we've been watching our square of nine. And from our 25 here, we've been calling that we have to sit and break above this 31 level. This this is our 90 degree square, and we have to sit on this level. This is back to square one. We're on the base. We have to sit on this. From there, as I've been stating, we will be moving up to around the 34 level here. 
if we were to if we were to see weakness here it's very possible and likely we can spin back and sit down here if that were to occur we need to see strength and we need to sit on this we could come back and sit down on 31 which i expect and then have another push up 90 degrees to 37. from there i'd expect another reaction back to 34 and then our last push 90 degrees up to end the sequence at 40 here which would be somewhere this 7th or 8th of august in which case we would have a subsequent pullback as i've been stating to around the 26th of august where would we be sitting there well it's looking like this 31 and this 28 level here is something that we would need to hold if we were to break below this then our forecast would be null and void and it would be it'd be invalidated and we would be moving back down so pay attention to that as a trader be aware let's go take a look at some other indicators because we haven't been speaking about our rsi we haven't spoke about our macd and our stochastics for a terrifically long time so let's go take a look at some of these uh these things and let's discuss them so we've had a golden cross here which is a, a very strong turnaround for these uh, indicators our macd is just starting to make a golden cross here and i'm expecting a golden cross to uh, in fact occur and take place and with that the energy will be very strong and i expect that we will shoot up to thirty-four thousand here in the next few days our rsi has been moving up it made a bottom back here and has showed some significant strength so with that being said all three of our indicators are showing great strength so it's possible and likely that my forecast is still intact so let's be patient i've been sitting on some long positions for quite a while and uh, they're slowly coming to maturity it's looking really nice just be guarded Make sure you have a stop loss with all your stuff. So once we have broke above, Gan says the safest place to buy is when an asset breaks above its old tops and sits on it. When this occurs, you can expect that the next sequence will unfold and that we will in fact have another swing top. If this is not to occur, then guard yourself with a stop loss and be ready to make a short position. I hope you've really enjoyed our tutorial today. I'm gonna to further go back and we're gonna look at uh, Bitcoin going back 12 years, and then we're gonna zero right in on the hourly chart and the minute chart. We're gonna just zoom right in to the absolute minute so uh, we can take a look at what Bitcoin has been doing. Also, pay attention Later on, we'll have our FOMC versus Bitcoin, where we'll discuss how the Fed is in a head-on match with uh, Bitcoin right now for asset dominance. And lastly, we will be doing another giveaway in August, so pay attention to that. I have my sun scales coming up next, and uh, we'll just go over that. That uh, will be... Uh, an update number two, which will show our sun from the November period at 15,000. And I think you're going to be really pleased with that. Once I received 100 likes on my first sun scales tutorial, I think there's about a little over 30 likes. Once there's 100 likes, I'll release the rest of my scales for Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So uh, you guys got to do your part. I'm doing mine. All right. Peace and love to all you guys. Safe trading. Be really wary. We are, in fact, just about to... Uh,
have a great amount of energy released and uh, a move up. And if that is not to uh, take place, then uh, be very guarded for a possible move down and a retest of our older areas around the 25 level. And if those aren't to hold, watch out below because we may go back to 13. If that's the case, that would represent a really good buy. All right, peace and love, safe trading, tear my tutorials to pieces, and uh, a big shout out and thanks to all my uh, grand prize winners. Hang in there, guys. You guys are doing a great job out there. And all those that didn't win, stay tuned. You will be a winner in the future. I look forward to uh, speaking to you again. Thank you for joining me today as we discuss Bitcoin in its totality.